And what's really interesting is how nature can rehabilitate itself. Mm -hmm. So for example, every little blue muscle, everybody knows what a little blue muscle looks like. Every adult blue muscle filters 10 liters of seawater a day and abstracts out of it the toxins. Mm -hmm. So one thing that's being tried in urban areas all around the world right now is uh, putting in these what are called filter feeder reefs, artificial reefs, because on their own, they will clean up the water. Mm -hmm. So that's one opportunity. We may not be able to eat those because they've abstracted all the pollution out of it. But at some day, natural critters may be the ones who actually clean up False Creek, of course, with yeah. human help. And it would take some time to eventually come to a point where we can, it would be a marine farm. We know clearly we're not thinking like this space is going to feed everybody, but it'll give opportunity for especially non-Indigenous people that don't have access to that food to, you know, one day we'll be able to sample it from here mm -hmm. and be able to identify this, how it grows, like the seaweed. I'll go back to the seaweed again. I never knew it grew on rocks. I thought it was like underwater and like you had to dive for it or something. And it's just on rocks. 